What's up everybody and welcome to Once Human. Today we are jumping into the closed beta test three for this game. I actually missed out on the last one by one day. There is a certain point where they require you to have keys to be able to get into this. This time I finally was able to download the game and hopefully create our character here and see what exactly this game is all about. As far as what I know, it's pretty much a survival game where it has division like shooting it's also got some control aspects uh if you ever played that game by remedy um it's very interesting looking and a lot of anomalies but people have been absolutely loving it and we're gonna see exactly how it is so if you guys do end up enjoying this leaving a like on this video makes a huge difference and if we hit 20 likes or more I'll go ahead and put out more episodes of this. This is kind of just a test trial today to see how it does and kind of what this game has. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and enter the game, see what's what Once Human is all about, and then kind of go from there. Except that. As flies to wonton boys are we to the gods, they kill us for something? Our lives have Ooh. followed a long path but eventually all roads reach their end that music though our world is broken stagnant fallen into the abyss But everything is born from darkness. Even the universe itself. Now, do you see it? A glimmer within the void. The spark of life still burns. And evolution forges a new way forward. Once your faith overcomes despair, once you move beyond death, once life returns to this world, we'll meet beyond that path. Okay, that is a really cool intro. Everything going on there, the whole atmosphere, the music, absolutely. I, I loved that for a second there. Okay, well, I think now, yep, here we go. I'm gonna throw us into the character creator. Let's see, you got type one, type two. Nice, there's a decent amount of options to go with starting out too. All right, so what do we want to be? Now this game does have both PVE and PVP servers. Uh, personally, I am joining a PVE one, but it does have some, uh, there's a decent amount of servers too. I kind of just went through and, and picked a random one myself. Um, let's start with, maybe we'll start with this guy. And just change the hair and stuff. Yeah, go with this. That's very, it's very, very detailed. You can go one by one, changing your forehead height, your eye. Let's see if I can change the outer eye color, size. Close this out. I will say one thing about games like this is they always have. A really nice character creator. Uh, okay, can we go back? Here we go. Let's actually update the hair. Yeah, there's a lot to do here. There's a lot of uh, customization, at least. 
I might just go with like the base. Uh, that, the, actually, I kind of like that. There's part of me that likes that. <laughs> I yeah, I don't know about that one. Yeah, I might I might keep it simple and not do the the fade or anything. Just do this. I think that that does the job. Let's see. Do we got any facial hair here? Different eyebrows. I'll keep the default eyebrows there. Oh, actually, you have to select a different color for these too. It's like gray. There you go. Beard. Here we go. Huh. So beard is underneath that option. Okay. All right. Let's go all the way down here. Does it get any darker than that? No, nah, I don't think so. Intensity. We go with this. Yeah. I think I think that'll do the job. Do the job. Okay, you could do like a little bit of eyeshadow and stuff. Cool. Do that. Some face paint. Lipstick. I don't even realize we had any of this enabled, to be honest. Alright. Um yeah, I'll do this. That's fine. I'll leave it as is. Color balance, age. There's minus 15 and then there's 15. Freckle intensity. What's color balance? Hmm. Can't really see for that one. Blemishes. <laughs> Zane plays. Thank you for the uh for the sub there. Now, right now, I'm actually not live, but uh, if people still, like, sub or follow while I'm off stream, it still comes through. So, shout out to Zane. Kind of funny. All right, cool. What else we got? We got height and fitness. We can add a, a little bit of height there. Fitness, 100. Inch That's interesting that this is a fitness slider. I thought I was going to make him, like... Just increase his uh, arm size and stuff. But no, it's just increasing his... Uh, uh, well, I guess technically everything. You know what? I'll do this. A little, little taller, a little fit. Some perfect numbers. All right, and then here you can go into detail. Ooh, there's body paint? Okay. Where does it actually put this, though? Wait, I don't see it. Oh, okay. Oh, that puts us on to his leg. You know, I've I've actually seen that tattoo so many times too. Kind of funny. Okay. I like this. Ooh. Oh, dude, that's sick. They actually have like some decent options here. Well, that's kind of cool. I feel like that's very fitting for this world. That too, to be honest. Do like a hand right on the center. All right, let's go with the, um, I might go with like one of these. Do that. Oh, oh do, wait, does this always go onto the right, the same arm? Huh. It does. I thought I was going to let you do one on one arm and one on the other arm. But I guess not. Unless if there's something that lets you switch arms. Oof. I feel like that would be weird having just that on my right arm. I like how that makes the colors pop right there though. Although they're two separate things. Yeah, they're completely separate tattoos. It's like this one makes the colors pop a whole lot more. 
Let's see what happen what happens if I do the same too. Oh, is it because the intensity? Oh, it's because the intensity is higher. That's why. Okay, now I kind of like that one even more. Especially with that intensity up. I like that. R wish you could do the other arm too, but you can't. As far as I know, at least. Okay. I think we're good here. We might as well actually get into the game. Complete character creation? Yes, confirm. We'll go Cassis. Avatars? Oh, there's different avatars here too. Ooh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's get in there. Liquid nitrogen, negative 195.79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function, not detected. Subject status, stable. Dagger, still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Security breach. Security breach! <laughs> Got stabbed with something. Remove. Take the activator. Going to use that. It is kind of cool having the one arm. I wish you could have both, though. Okay. Mr. Wishmaker. There's a lot of items we're getting right now. Flirting, deny, take a bow, upset. <laughs> I think those are all emotes. Emergency med kit. All right, let's take all items there. Initiate sprint. Always keep your that. Okay. Consume food and drink to increase your energy and hydration. All right. Let's try using this. Is that bladder too. Rosetta. Okay. An adult human. Hmm. What is it? Rosetta researcher. Oh, there's a memo over here. Access code for the chrono cage experiment area must be changed daily. Today's code is 0728. Okay. So I wonder if we'll need to use that. Enter the passcode 0728. Well, there you go. 0728. Verified. Pass you are currently tracked with or displayed at the top left corner of the screen. Cool. Interact with this again. Top secret. Cradle has been placed in a separate room for safekeeping until research can be conducted. Okay. Find the access card and enter the research lab to obtain the cradle. Let's 
It's very, very glitchy. It's cool though. Oh, that's a pretty cool transition right there. Nice. I like that. Communicate with the mysterious bird-shaped HP. Talk to the strange bird. Sorry, my dog's well, going off. see another face. I thought I was on my own. And you're a metahuman too. A metahuman? Like we got superpowers? Are, but I know what you are. You awakened the cradle. And that's something only a metahuman could do. Do you remember who you are? No, I, I don't. It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have robbed you of your memories. You can call me V. It seems that our interests are aligned, metahuman. Why are you here? I came to secure a deviation, a paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. Right now, though, we need to move. I can show you the way out of this place, but only if you help me complete my mission first. All you have to do is listen to what I tell you. Okay. Press Q to use the space time to search for items in the monolith. Oh. Uh-oh. Wait, another snapping? That's funny. After just playing the Thaumaturge, that was the same thing. You would snap and it would reveal everything in the area. Looks like this game does the same thing. Oh. Alright, let's see. Weapon crate. Grab that. We got a machete now. What is this? Access card. I think that'll just close the door, I'm guessing. Conducting melee attacks. The heck? No, I could have backstabbed him. That has been infected with stars. It's called a deviant. Our world has been overrun with deviants ever since Starfall. Ordinary humans can't take high levels of stardust exposure. When they do, they can we crouch? You should be fine. Okay. In fact, if the conditions are right, you might even be able to use stardust to your advantage. Damn. Okay. That's pretty cool right there. Let's see, we got another weapon crate. Take what we can. Molotov cocktail. So far, the game's feeling pretty good. I haven't really messed with much of the settings. But it feels good. Take out this guy. An activator. I'm guessing that's the thing that just like con consistently heals you if needed. Yeah, you can kind of see it in my bar at the bottom right. Got a hat. Press K to open your backpack to equip items. Nice hat that gives me uh, some, some protection here, I guess. Nothing else. Blueprints. All right, so this is the crafting aspect. Okay, kind of cool. All right, let's keep it going. There's another Rosetta guard. Notes can be found and sc uh, found scattered all over the world. Read them to learn more about Nalcott's past. Notes will also be stored in the collections menu. There's a priority alpha research operation. Any findings related to it or Project Butterfly must be directly support reported to blank. The operation has been designated top secret. Any personnel who any personnel who violates this its confidentiality will be subject to termination. Got a feeling they're talking about like actual termination there. Whoa, what the heck? Hold on, wait, let me try going back. Ah oh <laughs> it's literally like portal so this blue portal is going to take me back to the okay huh I see and then this one's going to take me to that right there that's really interesting cool 
making sure I check all the areas for loot. Night vision. Okay. <laughs> Pressing N will just turn on your your flashlight. Let's open up the gear crate. Got some shoes. See if I can equip those. Oh, it automatically. I, I guess maybe if you don't have anything equipped already, it'll just throw it on for you. I feel like the flashlight is more bright than needed inside here, at least. Did I already take that? Nope. There we go. Observation file. Let me check back here to see if there's anything else. Oh, there's something. A med kit. Hey. Looks like it was worth going there. After image. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, this... <laughs> this room reminds me a lot about control. I need to go back and replay that game too. It's it's been a little bit. Uh oh, my guy's still moving. Spatial fluctu uh, fluctuations often cause anomalies in time, allowing past scenes to be witnessed once again. Activate space space time to locate spatial theaters, where events and people from the past may reappear, potentially revealing hidden truths. Huh. God, my guy's still. What the heck. I'm stuck running to the right. Okay, there we go. My name is Victor Hammond. What's your name? I don't know. I just know I'm a monster. My mom, my dad, they're gone. It was all my fault. <gasps> hey, hey, try and stay calm. I'm here to help you. No one can help me. It would be better for everyone if I just... Leave me alone, please. I'm afraid I can't do that. And you're not a monster. In fact, you're very, very special. You just need to learn how to control your own strength. Once you do that, you can help fix this broken world. We can do that together. Huh. I feel like she's going to be a... So I'm not sure how, how much, like, story this game is going to have, but... It seems like they are setting up a decent amount. And look how gentle it is. I remember my name now. Whoa, she's it sitting now. Home. It means child of light. It's my first creation. I will create more. Child of light. Oh, this area is very ink or red. We need something That's cool. Challenge the evolutionists. What the heck? We can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path. This will be the Mayflies' mission. This is why we'll fight. Mayflies? That's right. Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. Oh. <laughs> and I mean, this is why they have closed betas. Or betas in general. It's that way they can test it out in a large-scale environment. What is this down here? The heck is that? <laughs> Some of these enemies so far are very interesting. Got another gear crate. All right, some gloves. All right, it wants me to go that way, so let's see what happens if I go this way. Ooh, more loot. Some food again. Oh, that's interesting. So as you're running, you're, uh, I can see my, like, hydration meter. The water icon in the bottom above my, I'm assuming that's my health, is flashing and slowly dropping. But as you, like, kind of walk at a slower pace, it, it moves less. All right, we got some enemies here. Let's see if I can jump and take them down like this. Oh. 
thought I was going to do like a drop down. Jeez. We found it. Reach out your left hand. See if you right. can feel the rhythm of it. Then try and secure it. Capture the deviation. Successful rate depends on gloves equipped relevant attributes. Okay. And we're going back. Oh, let's see. Whoa. Okay. You have left Victor Hammett territory. Oh, you entered Victor Hammett's territory. Oh, okay. Wait, so is this that guy's house, I wonder? Let's see, does it let me... World map unlocks when the Eve... What was that? Eve evolution is complete. Eve of evolution. And I think that's what we're working on right now. All right, let's talk to the young girl in the house. Mitsuko. V, you're still alive. Yes, and look what I found. A meadow. <laughs> Only just woke up. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, meta human. This means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a meta human as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. Hmm. You're safe here. So this paper butterfly is the deviation you were looking for? Yes, an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it. See that thing in the center hmm. of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. Okay. Place the butterfly's emissary in the territory securement facility. Is that this thing? Butterfly emissary. The butterfly is recovered. Oh. Ah, that's kind of cool. Think it likes you. Deviant power and mood. Learn more about the deviation. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. Mm. This is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're trying to find ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. We figure this is our best chance of cleaning up the mess that Rosetta made. So what exactly are deviations anyways? No one's exactly sure what they are, just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. Hmm. They came from another dimension, something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Like with Starfall, sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. So what exactly are you trying to do? Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly, but others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them, of course, but if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. Also, the stardust just keeps spreading, and we aren't sure why. Fine chilling roar. Oh. The siren. Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you. It can help. Okay. Interact with the isolated. All right, let's grab what we can here. I like how there's... I, I hope there's, like, 
a decent story with this game here because it seems pretty cool so far. And all these, like, the quests starting out and everything seems pretty interesting. Especially if it ends up having a quest system that you can continuously follow and not just, like, survival or building. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's kind of cool. The one thing I, I always want about survival games these days and something that um, personally survival is has always been cool, but I can only do so much building and exploration in worlds until I kind of get tired. But if you give me a storyline or at least give me an objective to follow besides just like go out and do your own thing, then that that always um, that's something I want to see more in, in survival games personally. Wait, do I have to deposit this and then activate it or something? Oh, attach. Wait, is it attach wire? Synchronize butterfly's emissary to the cradle. Interact with the isolated secure unit to view the details of butterfly's emissary. Uh, unlock the build build features. Facility. Oh, here we go. Synchronize to cradle. Combat deviation is a special type of deviation. It's aggressive, but can be fully controlled by a metahuman in secure state. So each combative deviation has different abilities. Ah, oh, so this one lets you... Uh, it's actually, like, control. It lets you carry things, pick them up, like, levitate them. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we synchronized with that. Logging by hand, get logged 0 out of 10. And freehand mining stone, gather gravel 0 out of 10. Okay. So here comes the the gathering aspect. Oh, there's copper ore. Well, I will say this. I mean, this looks pretty good so far. Where we're at here. So how does this work? Oh. I kind of like that. I, I like that you're able to just walk up to something and press a button and let the interaction... Oh, it's not going to hit by that. I like that you can just walk up to something, press a button, and let it go through rather than like constantly clicking to have to do it yourself. Let's see what happens if I drink the water here. Oh, it's dirty water. All right, I think we're good. All right, maybe let's not drink the water then. We need gravel or stone. There's some up here. Rock. Okay, set up a campsite. Press that. Ooh. Use a simple crafting bench and a campsite to make basic tier tool or uh, gear, tools, and dishes. In the survival campsite, make a rustic crossbow. Oh, between weapon. Okay, so you got weapon, armor, crafting, and other stuff. Okay, cool. So what do we need to make? Make the crossbow. Make an arrow and then make uh, a rough pickaxe. The crossbow requires 25 logs. Where's the crude or crude pickaxe? What does this require? All right, we need more gravel. Gravel and wood, basically. Go collect the, a decent amount. Now, do we have... I wonder how intense the capacity system is for this game. Is it going to be really sensitive on how much you can actually carry? Or will it let you carry a decent amount? Uh, that's an, kind of another struggle with survival games, personally, is that... Having such little co carrying capacity a lot of times ends up being uh, tedious, personally, than, than fun in a way. 
depending on how much, you know, everything weighs. Of course, you can't walk around with everything with you, but I think it's better to be more forgiving and lenient for the amount of carrying capacity rather than being more uh, tedious about it. Okay, cool. Primary weapon. So we got that. I think we just need to make some arrows now, too. We need more stone for that. Click the fire. All right. Feels good. So one right click puts it into first person and pressing and holding it keeps it in third person. Ooh, we're hungry. Okay, let's try using this, I think. Load restored. Max HP uh, has been increased. Okay, cool. Yeah, we are using a decent amount of stamina now. All right, let's go back over here. Oh, so you can see what deviation you have in your backpack. So since right now I have the butterfly... Obviously, that's that's the current one equipped. We're gonna make two of these. In survival. Ma wait, it says make an arrow. I made two of them so far. Make a rough pickaxe. Didn't I make a pickaxe already? Well, let me check. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I have been uh, kind of... Okay. I guess maybe I didn't make the pickaxe yet. Oh, we got a new chest piece. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. And this is going to go into our secondary slot. All right, let's see if I can make that the pickaxe then. I need more wood. I'll I'll make or just just get enough to be able to craft that. All right, we're good. We should be. Okay. Craft. Oh, it goes into your queue. Wait, can I cancel? Cancel. Oh, so once you... Never mind. I see. So in order to... <laughs> oh, God. Every time this opens up, equip a gathering tool. Every time that opens up, it keeps you walking whatever way you you originally pressed. Wait, what is this? Oh, we got a bunch of items. Welcome rewards. Oh, that's kind of cool. Mayflower cap. Does H to holster your weapon? I like I like the look of this game so far. Feels pretty cool. Too. Okay, so what did I need to do there? Uh, I had to go and equip the. So let's go to gear. The cradle. Oh, it is equipped already. Premium fuel. Construction special tools. Okay. All right, we're good to go, I guess. Crack down attacking deviants. Once again, if you guys are enjoying this, leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference. And if we hit those 20 likes or more, then I'll put out more episodes of this. So far, this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm not sure how long this one is going. The last one, uh, the last closed beta test that they did went for, I think, like two or three weeks. Maybe even like a month. Um, it was pretty lengthy. It's just 
I, I literally missed out on it by one day because I didn't create my character in time before they switched the keys required. That's a big satellite. <laughs> These monsters are very interesting. Is a weapon crate? Oh, we got some extra arrows. Nice. This siren, so strong. Summon the butterfly. It will fight alongside you. Automatic action, auto attack. Now you'll see for yourself what it's capable of. Whoa. Wait, we actually do so much damage to this thing. I saw how much health it had originally and I was so nervous. Wow. <laughs> Victory. Whoa. Oh, so it just pulls you out. Oh, so that's like a dungeon in the way. Oh, oh. About to catch up. Festering gel. Unfortunately, the deviation escaped. All right, let's talk about, talk to her again. So it's, there is like a capturing aspect to things, which is, I, I didn't know that actually. Inform Mitsuko deviation of the escape. Damn, it escaped. Just driving it away was enough. And it's all thanks to you, Meta. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you've saved me. Hey, where did it go? The, the physical world? Yes, Mitsuko created this rift space. A refuge from the dangers of the physical world, or so we thought. Do you think that deviation will come back? It's possible. We just can't sit here and wait, though. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Uh, sounds like we have no choice but to go after the thing. Take the butterfly with you. Put it in your cradle. That way, I can lend you some of my strength. Hopefully, we'll meet again one day. It looks like this is goodbye. Before you go, if you have any questions, I can try and answer them for you. Okay. Press tab and select the camera to take a photo of Mitsuko as a farewell uh, keepsake. Camera. All right, Mitsuko, smile. Three, two, one. And out of ten. Great job. Leaving uh, Mitsuko Sanctuary for the New World. Right, I think we do it. Just get out there. And there we go. Oh god, are we just gonna drop from this door? Oh. Where are we dropping, boys? <laughs> it kinda is. It kinda is like a VR. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Twenty years after Starfall, and the world is still infested. Oh, this bird is stopping. strong. It looks like the monoliths here have been reactivated too. They might hold the key to all this stardust pollution. <gasps> oh. Okay. 
Find a suitable location and press B to place territory terminal. Welcome back achieved. Um, I don't really do anything yet, so... Alright, let's go find a spot, I guess. Oh, we made it to the world. To the actual world. Ooh. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot here. At least it seems like it. Deadsville, level 2. This is somebody's, like, house right here. Inspection point. All right, let's just try going ripple in space time detected. Are these all like little houses that people have been setting up? For turrets? Is a deer and a chest? Oh, there's somebody's house. Um, wow, there's a lot of houses over here. The thing is, I don't know if a lot of these are player created houses or if they're now that we've made it, let's set up a territory. It's got to be right. Territory terminal forms the basic of your territory and defines that area which you can build. This reminds me a lot of like Fallout 76 where you would go and build your house in like a specific area. Wait, so is this like somebody else's? I don't know if this is a house that was just like here or if it's literally, oh, this is literally somebody's house. Oh yeah, without a doubt. This is definitely somebody's house. They got a car right there, too. All right, let's try setting up one. Like, right... Oh. Oh, wait. This territory... So, are they predefined areas? Like, if I come right here... That would actually be pretty cool if it's like predefined areas and it's like, hey, you can you can take this home for yours, you know. If you build right here, then this home will be yours. Because it looks like this comes all the way to over here. And obviously that's somebody else's. Does somebody already take this? Structure cannot be built near a stronghold. Maybe it's saying that I'm too close to that area. Too close to another territory. Is it when you enter B? Not be built near a road. Not be built near a stronghold, okay. That's going to be too close to a road. Alright, let's try finding a nice spot down here then, I guess. Maybe it isn't like predefined or anything. Oh, there's definitely somebody in there. Oh, there is. Yeah, there's a guy over there. All right, what about right here? Oh. Too close to another territory. And. Alright, I'll just keep on running here, I guess, until we find something. I mean, these areas look pretty cozy so far.
Okay, that's still, I think, going to be too close. Well, there's another guy. Sayori. <laughs> oh, my guy's very tired now. Uh, let's... Do I have something I can drink? Placebo. I have dirty water. Oh, this. Oh, this is boiled water. Okay, cool. Let's try drinking that again. Man. Urban food. Oh god, there's a zombie. Come on, there's got to be a place somewhere. I I've got to be getting into the spots where like there's not as many people. Because right now we're very early on, so I'm sure there's tons of people setting up over here. Okay, cool. Can I actually retrieve my arrows or no? Nah, doesn't look like it. Here we go. Okay. Like I'll be calling this my home. Nice work. I've managed to unlock some memetics from it. There it is. If you access them through your cradle, you'll be able to craft and build what this. You need. Press tab to call out the function wheel and select the cradle to enter the uh Okay, select this. Memetics. Meme ticks. <laughs> Various kinds of building and item formulas can be learned from this area. Okay. Infrastructure, crafting, managing. Ciphers available, nine. You can unlock and reset multiple nodes at once via the quick allocation. Essential tools. So we have nine right here. Used to unlock and upgrade skills. Melting essentials. Crafting. Managing. Um, I don't know what to begin with. Essential tools. Ammunition. Gear workbench. Recovering HP. I mean, I guess. Covering HP. Oh, this is for better resource gathering, smithing essentials. All right, we got one more. Stoves, awakening. Formula. Crafting wood supports. All right, let's confirm with this. All right, I think we unlocked a bunch of stuff there. Open the screen and unlock the disassembly bench and oh no. <laughs> I the one thing I didn't get. Oh no. Wait, can I quick reset? Let's reset one of these. Refund two. Then energy links. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's grab this one. Yes, I need this. Attics. You still won't be able to craft anything out of thin air. We better gather some ore and logs. Okay. So this one costs two. I'll hold on to one extra cipher. Gather gravel and gather copper ore. Well, it's a good thing there's plenty of copper ore right here. I wonder if there's durability on these items that we have. That's another thing for survival games, personally, is I I always prefer their, you know, I'm okay with health, you know, 
health dropping, energy, food, like having to manage all of that. I'm okay with some crafting, but when it comes to like inconveniences, that's when it's a little bit eh, iffy. Let me see, is there, I think there is VoIP, but let me just check to make sure. If there is, I want to make sure that mine is set to push the talk. Summon motorcycle is G. Chat. Event. Team task building. Voice chat is F5. Interesting. Oh, there's a whole world chat. Open the build menu. What do we have to build here? And build a furnace. That's what it was. Use Put it right the there. To refine raw materials into something more practical, needed for advanced items. Use a furnace and an electric furnace to smelt ores. Like charcoal. All right, uh, charcoal in the furnace, melting copper ingot in the furnace. All right, let's grab some more ore then. I guess we kind of got lucky here then. Right by all the, the stuff to mine. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah, this game's cool. I, I like this so far. It doesn't feel, at least early on, doesn't feel too tedious uh, with the survival aspects. It is giving you guidance with quest line, so that's nice. At least getting started. Prize more advanced gathering tool. Oh, that's for silver ore. Whoops. We're a bit thirsty. So there must be like, yeah, there's three tiers of your health, your thirst, your strength, and your mindset. Like, I guess you can get tired or something. Or at least it looks like it. Oh, charcoal is from logs. Ooh. Oh, we need more charcoal to make more of those. Oh, I see, I see. Go grab some trees. Wait, you get EXP from that little band? Oh, it's... Okay, never mind. Never mind. I love that it's a simple interact button too for for chopping this down. All you have to do, walk up, press that button, let it do its thing. Not bad at all. All right, we should hopefully have enough now. How many do you need for one? Oh, you only need one. And all right, yeah, let's do like, I don't know, 15. Okay, it's gonna take 10 seconds. That's nice that it tells you the total amount it's gonna take for all your input. Okay. Make 15 of those. And then it's gonna take one minute. Yeah, I'll, I'll have more copper than needed. How's our inventory looking right now? So we have 23 
uh, weight out of 90. Looks 26%. So there's like a an event going on phase one of mist and mirage huh a new dawn so this ends in five days so if these are all weeks or like five yeah just about i wonder how far it, or if it will do all these season goals and season note so the one thing that i have seen about this game is the developers although it is net ease uh which i mean they publish all types of games uh a lot of like very mobile like games but they've also published just like uh i don't know they're 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 kind of all over the place right the one thing with this game though is the developers are like very very adamant that there's not going to be any pay to win elements now of course anybody can say anything uh and then completely change direction at any time and then add them in after the fact but they have been saying that for supposedly a bit now we gotta construct a disassembly bench so that's one thing that people have been uh, kind of like praising this game for, I guess you could say, or giving credit, that's, saying like, if you actually pull this off, like, upon. this could be great. I've set up a the time will tell, you know. Our progress. For each task you complete, you'll oh, use. so far what we've got. Racer. Those deviants out there. We need proper weapons and armor. There are some abandoned Rosetta facilities nearby. Maybe we could find some useful supply crates there. Yo, this is actually sick. On your map. See, this is the kind of stuff I want to see in games. It's like, like, look at all this stuff that you can literally make. Or it's just like, hey, you want to go, you want to follow the architect. All right, build this, this, this. Here you go. You can do all of these. And then you get items from it. It seems like it's pretty rewarding. That that is awesome. There's so many different paths that you can take. Chef, build a stove, hive, have one friend join a hive. Are those like dungeons in a way? Looks like it might be dungeons. Check the mini map to See your current goals and objectives. Go to a monolith ruin to search for supplies. Okay. So we got to make our way over there. Yeah, this is this is awesome so far. Level 3 recommended. So, do I like select one of these and then track it? Yeah, I guess so. Build supplies workbench. Build a workbench weapons workbench. Okay. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool so far. Really enjoyed my time with this. All right. Well, chat, we are going to leave it right here or well whoever's watching we're going to leave it at the first hour if you guys did enjoy this leave a like on it like i said that makes a huge difference if this does well i'll go ahead and put out another episode i might continue recording a bit more so we'll probably do at least two episodes um and then if you guys if it does well or if you're really enjoying it uh leaving that like makes a difference and i will put out more so for now, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. As always, stop by the live stream. I go live just about 6 p.m. Eastern every day. Weekends, I do streams uh, 9 a.m. Eastern, 1.30 p.m. Eastern, and 6 p.m. Eastern, as long as there's nothing going on. All announcements every time I schedule streams, always in the Discord. So that's in the description. Or if you just go to the links on YouTube, you'll see it there. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.